What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be bringing you a Sceptile team, made by Mr. Kurtastic. Now this Sceptile is running Unburdened Mirror Herb, which pairs with this Grimmsnarl Swagger. So what you do is you swagger the opponent, they get plus two in attack and get confused, and then the Mirror Herb procs, giving you your Unburdened to double your speed, giving you a plus two attack, but not confusing the Sceptile. So then the Sceptile can throw decently powerful Leaf Blades, Terra Flying Acrobatics, which also double in power when you lose your item, and Outrages. Now, this is a silly little gimmick. It's not exactly a very powerful strategy. And overall, this team may not get a lot of wins. But when you can pull that off, it's so much fun. The rest of this team, we have another couple things that work with this gimmick. We have a Contrary Malamar, with superpower, which will actually raise its attack and defense. And what you can do with that is side parting shot or side scary face to boost Malamar's attack or speed. We also have a Corviknight with a Lumberry, which you can swagger into the Corviknight. It will get confused and get the plus two attack, but then Lumberry will cure it of confusion one time. To round out the team, this Firewater Grass Core, we have Pre Marina, it's a Calm Mind set, and Arcanine in the Choice Band set. I love Choice Band Arcanine, so that's a great mod. I'm hoping we can get some wins with this. It is a gimmick, so I might lose a few times before I pull it off, but let's see what we can do. Here we've got a very interesting team. They've got a Furret! Oh, that's so cool. And they have Altaria. Coolest team. They've got Gallade, they've got Ursaluna, the regular one, Sinistra, and a como -O. They've got a lot of scary mons, looks like a Trick Room team. Not sure what the Furret or the Altaria are all about. I could go the Swagger route. That's probably enough to take out Sinistra. Swagger into Terra Flying Acrobatics. Gallade too. They don't really have priority blocking. They do have redirection with Furret though. That's the one thing that could cause that problem. I like Corviknight just versus the bear. They also have redirection on Sinistra if they want to go like with that and Gallade. But I think setting up my attack boost and doing some damage could be a good start. Or maybe I want to start throwing spread damage. Well finally versus their bear, I could have Sash Malamar. I could have Arcanine for Intimidate. Arcanine seems pretty good overall, so I think I'm going to bring that. Is dropping Primarina a problem? I do have a fairy still in Grimmsnarl. And I can always change the plan. If turn one, the swagger strat doesn't seem to work, I can always change what I'm doing. If they go with Furret on lead, I have to respect the follow me. That's a card. I mean, I like Carmen. But she's not like really in the shot. Okay, I have no idea what this means. I don't know I don't know what I'm facing here. What is this? I don't know what I'm looking at. Is this a Tailwind team? I don't I don't understand. This is Altaria or Saluna. I don't understand. But I'm gonna click Terraflying Acrobatics and Swagger into the Altaria. See if I can knock it out. I predict the bear to either protect this turn, or since it doesn't have a flame orb activated yet, not be that strong, so I don't have to worry about it if it goes for an attack. Altaria, I don't want to let it do whatever it's trying to do. Okay, the Ursa Luna does protect. Good. At least we got that right. That thing's still acting like a normal bear. We hit the swagger. Perfect. Unless this is a physical attacking Altaria, I don't know what it does. Hopefully it gets knocked out by acrobatics. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't know. We get the acrobatics off. And it does. 75%. Ooh, not enough. And they have a berry. Okay. I mean, Altaria is bulky. Maybe it's a bulky spread. We don't have to worry about it offensively. They're still confused. They might not get to do anything. Correct. They don't get to do anything. Beautiful. The Ursa Luna, I would expect to hit Sceptile with Facade. I think I want to detect this turn 
on the set tile. No, maybe not. Actually, what I can do is I can acrobatics again into the Altaria. And there's a very slight threat that they click a ground move, but I can parting shot on the bear and bring in Arcanine, putting them down to minus two attack right away. I think that's fine. Because I expect them to Terra so they don't go down to Leaf Blade. They could be Terra Normal or Terra Ghost. Those are both pretty common. Terra Dark is would not be a thing, but if they were, then they block the parting shot with that. Terra Fire. Okay, I did not anticipate Terra Fire. So I'm glad I went with the safe play. At least I hope it's a safe play. There is a chance they click the ground move, but I don't think Grim Snarl is what they think of as the threat here. So I'm willing to risk Arcanine on this turn. I could have also gone to Corviknight, but I'm... I don't know. Fire is really weird, because then if you Terrastalize before you get your Flame Orb, you don't get your Flame Orb. But I guess you would never do that. Alright, we knock out Altaria. Good. I didn't want to see what it did, but I kind of did want to see what it did. And facade. Now that you're at minus two, we should take this! Nope! Okay! <laughs> but Ursa Luna, what? Ah! All that work for nothing, huh? Minus two Ursa Luna, just Oko my septile, why don't you? Alright. What the? I guess Corviknight would be a safe swap in for Arcanine if I want to go with that play, so I'll bring Grimmsnarl in now. What? Minus two facade just Okoing? Fine. Fine. Oh my goodness. Here's Gallade. I guess Spirit Break into Gallade and bring in Corviknight is my play. Because now they'll click a ground move and knock out Arcanine. And I would have to lock into, like, Head Smash to be confident about knocking them out, and that's, that's not a good idea right now. Why guard? Oh, it's probably Earthquake then. Okay. Minus two Earthquake, I would think Grim Snarl can eat, right? They're also faster than my Grim Snarl. Good to know. That is not a min speed bear. Okay, yeah, we do take that one. Perfect. Ooh, Grim... We, we Grimstar almost knocked out the Gallade. Oh, it's Sash? Okay. It's funny that the bear can stay, keep its burn even after Terra Fire. 82, 88. So, Corviknight could be faster than their bear. Do I think they would click a ground move again? I don't want to risk Arcanine. I'd rather risk Grimmsnarl if I'm going to do anything like that. Corviknight could be faster than Gallade, but probably isn't. If they're not a, a slow bear, they're probably not a slow Gallade. But I could double in. I could scary face Gallade. And click Iron Head into it. Bear swaps. They want their attack back. Okay. So I should get a free KO here. Into Sinistra. For a little bit of healing. That's fair. I still think Iron Head knocks you out, though. Good. Now Arcanine, I don't think I can bring Arcanine in safely. Although I do think they want to facade, I don't think it's safe. So I think I want to actually, I think I'll proc the Lumberry now, get a self swagger onto Corviknight, see how much I can do with Brave Bird into their Sinistra. Plus two Brave Bird might take Sinistra, in which case we're in a great position. And we missed the Swagger. They have Fire Punch! Corviknight does live, but just barely. Oh my goodness. Are we going to knock ourselves out with Brave Bird? Oh, we do a lot of damage, yeah. We're going to knock ourselves out with Brave Bird. Uh-oh.
<laughs> Great. That bear is zooming. Can the bear catch Arcanine, though? No. The bear cannot be as fast as this Arcanine. But now we have to click Rock Slide. Because they could Rage Power. So we have to click a spread move. If Rock Slide doesn't KO, Earthquake's going to KO both of us. I don't know if Rock Slide does KO. And they should Rage Powder. So there's no point in going for like a self swagger play to risk it all. I think I'll click Spirit Break into Sinistra just to cover for they protect the bear and try to trick room, and they dodge Rock Slide on Sinistra. I think this is my only play, but I this could go anyway. Rock Slide misses? Who does it miss? Misses the Sinistra, that's okay. Maybe. Oh goodness, and it crits the bear. Oh, thank goodness. That bear was so scary! Why was it so fast and why does it have Terra Fire Fire Punch for my Corbin Knight? Oh, they scald in a Grimmsnarl, so it's not over. Oh, man. Because now I have to hit a Rock Slide again. Because I am choice. This is a choice band Arcanine, right? Yeah. It's the only way that that Rock Slide was KOing that bear. Okay, we connect this time. Phew! Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a fun match. They had such a cool team. I want to know what that Altaria was about. That bear was so fast, I'm thinking that might have just been Tailwind from Altaria. Wow. GG. Here we are versus Dondozo Tatsugiri. They also have Talonflame, Golden Go, and Mousehold, Glamora. This is going to be a really annoying match. I don't know if we have what we need to beat this. We don't have Haze on Primarina. We have Intimidate on Arcanine, that's good into it. We have Parting Shot on Grimmsnarl, so we can weaken the Dondozo, but we can't really beat it unless we get a crit with Night Slash or Leaf Blade. I guess if we wall it enough, Corviknight could live for a long time, but it could just take out everything else. They don't know we don't have Haze, though. I'm a little worried about Golden Go blowing a hole first. And my answer to that would be... Too bad, so sad. Golden Go is really scary into this team. Um, Do you think I need Grim and Arcanine? I just trust Arcanine lives something. Also lead Primarina. Have Grim and Sceptile in the back. I think this is my best bet. I may have to sacrifice Grim Snarl turn one. That's a decent card. Because if I show them Primarina, they will commit to taking Primarina. Okay, it's Mouthful. Okay, that's way better. Okay. I was worried about Talonflame Golden Go lead. I do think they brought Dondozo in the back. But I don't need to be as protectful of Primarina as they think I do. They think Primarina is the protect at all costs mods. It's not. Am I gonna pr trigger Toxic Spikes one way or another? I don't have to. I could Flare Blitz into the mouse hold here. And then just click Hyper Voice. Yeah, I think that's fine. They're gonna Terrastalize. I'm not sure who or why. Their mouse hold... Into normal! They're intimidated. And I have a Citrus Berry, so they're not gonna take out Primarina with Pop Bomb. But I did not see that coming. Okay, cool. As long as they don't get a crit on it. Oh no! I shouldn't have said anything! Free Marina, hang on! Oh wait, no, this isn't a Citrus Berry set, this is a Throat Spray set. 
Oh, how many hits was that? Ten. Yeah, they needed that crit. Okay. And they're faster than Arcanine and Earth Tower. GG. <laughs> Sometimes that's just how it goes. <laughs> I got got by mouse hold. Okay. How can I bring this back? I'll have to crit the Dondozo in the back with the Leaf Blade first try. They did burn Terra at least, so that's good. My Sceptile is not faster than a max speed mouse hold, so I need to pull off the Swagger Strat. Swagger the Glim. Leaf Blade the Mouse Hold. Mouse Hold swaps. Show me Dozo. Golden Go. Oh, they didn't bring Dozo? That's bad. <laughs> I don't know how I break through Golden Go. I guess we'll see how much a plus two Leaf Blade does. If I can two shot it, and if Glamora cannot take out my Sceptile right now, that'd be great. Oh, I do two-shot it. That's clean, actually. Oh, that was the crit. Okay. I asked for the crit on the Dondozo swap-in. That wasn't a Dondozo swap-in, but I got the crit anyway. Earth power. Again. I did a lot of damage. Are you choiced in some fashion? Hmm. I think I'm going to click Spirit Break into the Glamora. And Leaf Blade the Golden Go. Yeah, Glamora swapped. Here's Mouse Hold. They protect and then they follow me next turn. No. Okay. We're getting somewhere now. They must have Talon Flame, though. But it does look to me like they're choice on that Glamora. We can bait them into go coming in and going for Sludge Bomb here. Yes. Take out the Mouse Hold. Terastalize defensively. Would they click follow me here? They might. But I think Parting Shot is still a safe enough play. Terra Leaf Blade the Mouse Hold. If, they should, if they're Scarf or Specs, they should go for Sludge Bomb into Sceptile here. If they click Follow Me, Parting Shot gets wasted. But if they don't, they do click Follow Me. Okay. So I could have gone for Spirit Break, unless they're just taking out Grim Snarl here. Which is probably the better play, is to just knock out Grim. We take out Mousehold. They should have Talonflame last, which is annoying. Sludge Bomb into Grim. Okay, yeah, there was nothing better we could have done that turn. Except, like, self-swagger and risk the plus four hitting ourselves. But I don't know if we need another attack boost. Yeah, here's Talonflame. Can we take two Sludge Bombs? Can we take one Sludge Bomb and a Brave Bird? My guess is no. I think we lose this. We were off to a decent... Well, we, off, we were off to a terrible start. So the fact that we came this far is impressive. If they Tailwind... They get two hits with Glamora. They Brave Bird, they get one hit with each. Either way, we get Acrobatics into Talon Flame. Yep, that's the play. They go for Brave Bird plus Sludge Bomb. That should be plenty. Oh, I did so much damage. They're not even, they're not even Life Orb. Maybe they were Sharp Beak there. That feels like Sharp Beak damage to me. Or maybe Sceptile's just that split. All right, now I'm gonna need you to, do to miss your 100% accurate move, Glamora. Ah, darn, okay. We brought it down to one after that incredible turn one. <laughs> so I'm not too upset at how we did. 
In a best of three, we would be much more prepared for that. But wow. GG. Here we are versus Annihilate, Alola Nine Tails, Blood Moon Ursaluna, Golden Go, Whimsicott, and Rotom Wash. Not really sure what I'm seeing here. Uh, obviously, it's Tailwind plus Golden Go. That's solid. But other than that, I'm not really sure I understand what they're going for. I guess they could put up Veil. I would like to stop that. Setting up Sceptile should be doable. The problem is Golden Go. Sceptile doesn't really hit Golden Go very well. In fact, this team doesn't hit Golden Go very well other than Arcanine. Maybe Primarina could handle it after a Calm Mind or two. But I don't think they're going to be sitting there letting us do that. Malamar can also hit it and has a Sash, at least. I do think against any lead other than Whimsicott Golden Go, Grimmsnarl Sceptile is great. Arcanine isn't bad except for the Intimidate into their Ape. And then I think I want to pick Primarina. Just as something that can maybe take a hit from Golden Go as well. Because Corviknight can take a hit from Golden Go, but it can't really hit back. Whereas Hyper Voice does respectable damage into a Golden Go. That's a good card. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. I think you're standing near one of the crystals. Whimsicott Annihilate. Oh, it's beat up stuff. Fine. Cool. Gotcha. Hello? Game? Are we gonna be allowed to play this? Is everything alright, game? Okay, looks like everything's fine. I was worried about nothing. Alright. I should be able to get the Swagger into the Whimsicott. The question is what move I click with Sceptile. They could be Terra Fire, Terra Steel. If they're Terra Water, they won't Terrastalize. In every other case, they could Terrastalize. So actually, maybe it's Terra Flying Acrobatics plus Swagger into the Whimsicott. That seems fine to me. Because if they set up Tailwind, we should still be faster. And if they go just go for beat ups, we're definitely faster and might be able to KO. I definitely think we'll KO if they don't Terrastalize. If they Terrastalize the Annihilate, they should probably be able to take this. Oh, but they don't. That's beautiful. And we get the Swagger. Come on. Show me an Ape deleted. And we went first, so they're going for an attack, not a prankster move. So actually, we're just going to move and then they're going to beat up nothing. Yeah, Sceptile. Get him. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Woo, now Whimsicott might not even be allowed to move. One in three? 30%? I don't know what it is. It's one of those. Yep, <laughs> hit yourself. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Off to a good start. Now, Whimsicott's just support. I can scary face something if I want to get even more speed control if I'm worried about them catching Sceptile. I don't think they had anything faster than an unburdened Sceptile. I guess it depends on our speed investment. Rotom, I guess, could be Scarf. It could also Terrastalize here. But I can't detect because then they could encore me. So I'm gonna go for just Leaf Blade. I guess I could Scary Face. But I can also just Parting Shot out. I think it'll be fine. I think I'm happy to click Leaf Blade into Rotom and Scary Face it in case they're like Scarf and throw Tailwind. they terrastalize and live a hit, that's fine. We'll still get a plus two Leaf Blade onto them. They don't terrastalize. Whimsicott also isn't clicking priority yet again. Are they gonna let me take Rotom? 
Yeah, let's go. What is Whimsicott doing? Moonblast this time? Yeah, just attacking the Sceptile. Cool. <laughs> Love it. Let's go with Sceptile. Well, now they've seen our scary face tech. I don't see any reason not to do it again. I guess I should parting shot the bear. There's no way the bear is faster than this Sceptile. Max speed bear does not hit 172. So even if they set up Tailwind, we're going to move first. And I'll click Leaf Blade into them. And click Parting Shot. If they protect and get a free move with Whimsicott, whatever. Not the biggest deal. And I think, yeah, I think they Terra Normal. They probably live a plus two Leaf Blade. But then I get them down to minus one, which is great, and I can bring in Arcanine, which can take any normal move they throw. And then maybe finish them off with extreme speed. I can't see them clicking anything other than Hyper Voice here. Blood Moon into Grim wouldn't make sense. Grim isn't the problem. Blood Moon would be excessive into Sceptile. Hyper Voice should do it. And Whimsicott's attacking yet again, but if it has Moonblast, Arcanine doesn't care about that either. They just accepted that Sceptile's faster than them, they're not even going to try to Tailwind. I mean, it makes sense, if they weren't Scarf Rotom, Sceptile would be faster than their whole team. No point in Tailwinding. Leaf Blade does a good chunk, about half. They're done confusing. They Moonblast into Sceptile, that wasn't going to KO. Yeah, they do throw Hyper Voice, exactly what I thought. Excellent. Now I'm pretty sure my play is to make sure Arcanine stays faster than their bear. So what's my Arcanine's speed stat? 139, that's faster than bear if I scary face them. If they set up Tailwind and get scary faced, Arcanine still goes first. So I can just lock Flare Blitz because that won't miss. Yeah, perfect. Scary face, Flare Blitz. That's gonna be game, unless your Whimsicott has like, natural gift with a water berry or something crazy like that. <laughs> I don't know, that, does he even learn that? Yeah, you try to be faster, you don't succeed because I slow you down, and then Choice Band Flare Blitz should definitely finish. Yeah, get out of here. Whimsicott has no shot against the rest of my whole team. Though there's no point in scary facing it, because it still will be faster than I am. So I'll just hit it with a Spirit Break, and a Flare Blitz, and we'll lock in this dub. Let's go! Woo! Sceptile went crazy! Love it. Okay, looks like we've got an Ndidi Armor Rouge. They also have Sneasler, Golden Go, High Dragon, Murkrow. So they got Go Fast and they got Go Slow. They've got a lot of good options. This is a really powerful team. The main thing I'm concerned with is Psychic Terrain blocking our ability to swagger the opponent. So we can't go with that route. We do have a few Dark types. We could also self-swagger our Corviknight unless they click Follow Me. They also have the option to just Tailwind plus Golden Go, Tailwind plus High Dragon. There could be some shenanigans here that I'm not aware of with Weakness Policy Armor Rouge. Maybe they have like Scarf U-Turn High Dragon. I really like Corviknight. It seems like it can do well into most of that team. So I might as well Corviknight. What do we have? Rayford, Iron Head, Roost, Talon. Maybe Corviknight Grim could be fine. Side Swagger, trigger the Lumberry, do some damage. I'd be worried about Golden Go in that case. We don't have this. We can't really take speed control because we can't scary face their side. But then having Free Marina Arcanine, those are our best shots into Golden Go, either, even though none of them resist. Yeah, Free Marina can also do pretty well into the High Dragon, can do pretty well into the Armor Rouge. 
Arcanine, if it gets off a rock slide, can do tons of damage to that whole team. Oh, cool. They got the shiny Haxorus. Nice. They've got just a really terrifying team. It is just Indeedee Armor Rouge is their lead. Okay. This is alright. They can't just expanding force freely. Artera is Dragon for when they want to start throwing fire moves. Cool. Kinda wish I had led Pre-Marina. I would like to Calm Mind here. Arcanine lead would have been nice too. I think I'm gonna go for Iron Head onto Indeedee. And try to throw the self swagger now. Okay, they just click follow me. That's alright. I didn't want to double into Indeedee and take it out. I'd rather leave them on the field and stall a little bit more trick room. But they're just clicking Meteor Beam. Fun! They're not even gonna set Trick Room. They're faster than Corviknight. That does a little over half to Corviknight, too. Wow. Alrighty, if that's what you're gonna do. Uh, probably gonna throw a Fire move at Corviknight next. I could Dragon Terra Roost. That makes me weak to Expanding Force in a little bit. I do think they would want to throw a fire move here. I could get into Primarina, maybe. But Primarina should be even slower than Corviknight, yeah. Wow, this is going to be difficult. I'm going to burn Dragon Terra and try to Roost. And just throw a spirit break at their armor rouge. They might not click follow me this turn. I really doubt they click expanding force this turn in front of Grimmsnarl or Corviknight. And thus they're hard reading this Terra. They do just click follow me again. That's okay. And armor cannon. Oh, but it's into Grimmsnarl. That's okay. Gripsnarl eats that. Just barely, but he does. Definitely playing from behind here, but it's alright. Spirit Break. The next one's not gonna KO indeed. We are stalling out the terrain. That's the plan. Now, now we're gonna get hit by an expanding force, and we're gonna roost again after it. And I'll keep trying to Spirit Break into their armor rouge. Hyper voice from Indeedee to knock out Grimmsnarl. Oh, good play. Really good play. Now the single target expanding force probably takes our Corviknight. I was thinking we could take a spread one, but not this. Okay, we're in trouble. They have armor cannon, meteor beam, expanding force. They're not going to have wide guard. Right? But I have to lock Arcanine into a move, which I don't like. I also can't afford to let them get off an expanding force. So I actually have to lock Arcanine into Rock Slide, whether I like it or not. I will Calm Mind, because if they Wide Guard, They just Terra live Rock Slide. Expanding Force, we both go down. I'm really stuck here. I'm gonna I'm going to click Rock Slide and Calm Mind, but they can just Terra Armor Rouge and click follow me. And there's no way we knock them out even though they're at minus one defense. We have to get the flinch with Rock Slide, I guess. I guess I could have protected Primarina this turn, but that would rely on Arcanine living in expanding force at plus one, which I don't know if is possible. Rockslide does do respectable damage. We don't get the flinch. This is gonna knock us both out, right? 
Oh, a critical hit on Pre-Marina. Now we'll never know. <laughs> oh, that was brutal. Okay. Fast Armor Rouge. That's not what I expected at all. Well, GG. Here we are versus a sort of sand team. They've got Tyranitar and Hisuian Arcanine. They also have a Moongus Golden Go, Whimsicott, and Blood Moon Ursa Luna. So they have a little bit of a Tailwind package with Blood Moon, Arcanine, and Golden Go. They have a little bit of a Sand package. They have an Amoongus just for fun and for healing. Could be even like a defensive Golden Go because they have Intimidate and Rage Powder and Pollen Puff. Could be like a nasty plot set. I don't love Sceptile Grim right away. I don't hate Malamar though. Actually, if there's ever a game for Malamar, this might be it. Might as well give it a shot, right? And Arcanine doesn't seem bad on lead either. Force them to Tailwind. Scare the Golden Go slightly. Intimidate a couple of their physical attackers if they go that way. Primarina seems alright. Corviknight. Corviknight with the Lumberry is like our one swap into Spore, so I think I'm bringing that. Primarina does seem okay, not amazing. But if I'm not bringing Sceptile, I don't feel like Grimmsnarled gives me anything. Except maybe a little speed control with Scary Face. But it doesn't work on Tyranitar, it doesn't work on Golden Go, so I think Primarina's the last, though I'm not confident in that slot. Oh, they got a sleepy Ogre Pond. I love Ogre Pond. If they if they only had to ban some of the legendaries, I think they could have not banned Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond's cute. This is great. We get an Intimidate on their physical attacker. We get Intimidated on our Malamar for an attack boost. Love that. Unfortunately, their Arcanine is faster than us. So they might not even put up Tailwinds. They could double into Malamar which I really don't like. But if they double into Malamar, they're gonna have to take a hit from my Arcanine. So I'm gonna superpower their Arcanine, and I would rather not KO their Whimsicott right away. I could just click Rock Slide here. I think that's fine. The double up should take their Arcanine. They just click Rock Slide of their own. That does so much damage to my Arcanine. They do double Malamar. Okay, not good. I should have read that. I should have just protected Malamar, honestly. We get our own Rock Slide off. We KO their Arcanine with a crit. Let's go, okay. I guess, that, I guess that's a fair trade. We lose Malamar, you lose Arcanine. They could have Golden Go, Ursa Luna, they no longer have their Arcanine. I think bringing in Primarina's the call. Yeah, it's Golden Go. Because here what I can do is I can... I can't really protect my Primarina, though. What I want to do here is protect Primarina and bring in Corviknight, force them to drop their special attack. But then I could get Encore. I can still bring in Corviknight, but I can't protect safely. I need to click Hyper Voice, even though I don't want to. Maybe I don't save Arcanine. Maybe I count on Primarina, and I sacrifice Arcanine next turn. That could work. I can protect now, bring in Corviknight, have them drop their special attack with Make It Rain. Then, as they go for Encore, bring Arcanine back in as a sacrifice and take out their Whimsicott with Brayford. Now they could just nasty plot in my face and ruin my whole day. Like, screen? Battle Ball into the Corviknight slot. Okay, they ruined. Though we took that pretty well. If you have Light Screen, you might not have Encore. I'm, I'm willing to click Hyper Voice and find out. And then I think I want to click Iron Head into the Whimsicott, not Brave Bird. 
Okay, they did have Encore and Light Spring. And Moonblast. And I guess Tailwind. And they are a nasty plot. Golden Go. Yikes. Okay, that could be game right there. Especially with the Whimsicott living. Okay. We gotta get Arc... And in. They have light screens, so Primarina's never gonna break their Golden Go. Wow. <laughs> this would be where they set Tailwind as well. I just don't have anything I can do against the Golden Go. Unless Arcanine is actually faster than it, but it's slower than their Arcanine. Yeah, I guess I bring in my Arcanine and I try to finish off Whimsicott. That's all I have. But it's not looking good. There's a Moonblast into our Corviknight. Okay, that makes sense. And make it rain. No, Shadow Ball into Corviknight. Oh, we're gonna take that. Nope. <laughs> we are not gonna take that. Pre-Marina time. Now they finally have to Tailwind, right? They didn't burn Terra yet. They could be Steel or Dragon on Golden Go. I could extreme speed the Whimsicott just so they don't get Tailwind. Maybe their last thing is like Ursa Luna. <laughs> I could extreme speed and protect this turn, just so they lower their special attack. Extreme speed Whimsicott protect Primarina, they lower their special attack when they KO Arcanine. And then it's Primarina v World. No, I'm gonna call mine now, while, while it's still spread. I'll try to take the plus two spread move. I'll try to get a Calm Mind up. I don't have Citrus for Leftovers though, so I don't think I have a shot against this Golden Go. Oh, that does way too much damage. Uh, even the minus one single target would have done just as much. It, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have worked. Either way. Well, that was my only shot. Let's see what they have last. See if Primarina could have had a shot against it if we had taken that well for some reason. Amoongus? Annoying. But with Terra Grass, potentially beatable. Uh, we know we're not faster. I'm gonna go ahead and run this one. GG to my opponent. Even though I crit your Arcanine turn one, I still <laughs> couldn't get through your gold and go. And you recognize that in Team Preview. GG. And we are back. I'm glad that I got to show off Septile a little bit. Mr. Kratastic, thank you for making this team. It was a ton of fun. Next time, give me a Golden Go answer, though. Or tell me in the comments, what was the Golden Go answer here? What was I doing wrong? Was it Side Scary Face Malamar into Night Slash? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, thank you for watching. Go ahead and grab that rental code if you want to try this out, too. But anyways, I'm Jordy. And uh, alright, peace.